Hey guys, welcome back. This is Tarun again, back with yet another fitness video for you folks. So, you know, I've been getting a lot of questions from people that, you know, asking me that, Tarun, can you tell us if the product that I bought is genuine or fake? Or is there a way to figure out that, you know, that you whatever you're buying, uh, any supplement from anywhere in the world, any part of the world is genuine or fake? So guys, in this video, I'll be sharing my experience with you with buying genuine supplements or fake supplements or what are the products that you can avoid which I can tell you for a fact are bound to be fake so are you ready let's go right at it so how do you tell a difference if the product is fake or genuine guys nobody can tell a difference you know you'll be surprised you know that you know you put uh, an international protein powder uh, and you put a, 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 a generic protein powder together when I say generic, the same one, you know, the replica of the same product. Nobody can tell the difference. And I'll tell you this, and this has happened with me, and I want to share that experience with you folks. So uh, there is one part of Delhi, I don't want to name those guys there. You know, uh, I, I was, that's the time that, you know, I was actually uh, looking at buying a protein powder for myself. And, you know, uh, and, you know, obviously, you know, I didn't have too much of money. And I was looking at, at a price back, bracket of uh, about rupees, you know, 800,000 rupees, you know, uh, or probably 1500 for about a kilo. So I reached out to this retailer again, guys. There'll be no names there, but it's just for you to get some perspective. That you know, can you just help me? Uh, you know, it can get you some protein powder for rupees fifteen hundred. So this guy said, "Oh, sure, I can help you. You know, you can get uh, you know many options in rupees fifteen hundred a kilo. You know, and that, that's the time. You know, I'm talking about a few years ago, about four or five years ago, when Indian protein hadn't taken off. You know, the only Indian products we had was Tara NutriCare, and obviously, you know, uh, the quality of protein wasn't that great what it is now." So obviously we were relying a lot on international products. So you know when I went to that guy, uh, I, I saw something which kind of shook me. You know I saw a pack like about hundred odd packets of uh, on you know you know optimum nutrition hundred percent gold whey protein. You know those ten LBS packets you know lying everywhere and. Uh, Surprise! I said, you know, hey, you know, I thought maybe this guy is a genuine retailer, and you know, he would be, you know, selling me that stuff. And I said, you know, hey, I don't have that much money. I can't pick that up because obviously that's going to come with a very heavy price tag. I only have rupees fifteen hundred. He said, yeah, this one is for rupees fifteen hundred. A ten LBS on optimum nutrition, hundred percent gold weight, chocolate flavor for rupees fifteen hundred. I was like, you must be kidding me. And the guy said, no, it is. I said, so what's the catch here? He said, the catch is that it's fake. You know, uh, what we've added here is, you know, we've added some glucose, we've added some other, you know, uh, stuff which we don't want to disclose. And, you know, probably, you know, it's up to you what you want to do with it. If you, uh, I would recommend don't have it for yourself. Uh, I would say just, just sell it off to people. You know, you can make a lot of money out of it. And guys, that was an eye opener for me. And I realized that, whoa, there's so much of duplicacy. And now I think it has gone leaps and bounds. You know, there's so much of duplicacy now, guys. You know, that it's, 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 it's shocking. You know, people don't have any ethics. You know, and people who are actually competing in sports and in the business of bodybuilding are actually selling more fake stuff. So there is nobody you can trust these days. You know, uh, I know somebody, you know, who was taking you know, protein from one guy for the last three years. Turned out that all, whatever he took was all fake. But obviously, you know, you can't question and you can't go back to that guy and say, you know what, you've been selling me fake stuff. So obviously, there is no, there's no way that you can tell a difference. Obviously, there are some checks and balances in place uh, now that, you know, you have a hologram there. You know, you can check out the, re the, the supplier, which has, where it has come from. But still, if somebody has to kind of, you know, if you have 100, if you're selling 100 boxes and out of those 100 boxes, you know, you can probably leak out 10 or 20 fake boxes, then nobody will be able to tell the difference. And people do that. And the reason why they do that is, because there is big money guys big money just imagine 1500 for 10 lbs uh, uh, on protein you can imagine and still he must be making money out of me too in 1500 as well so the cost must be about 700 800 rupees so there is obviously no guarantee wherever you're buying it from so the only way what you can do is you know you can be prepared about things that you know uh, always go to a guy who you trust you know who you can always go back to and say and claim that you know what whatever i picked up from you 
is not good it's 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 it, and this is how it tastes and you know make that guy taste stuff for you so obviously this way you can obviously obviously be in control but again that's again depends from people to people now uh, i'm going to be telling you about products which you, you should never take because you know they can never come to india anybody who's selling you that one particular product is a genuine fake what is that product now that product is called carnivore you know by muscle meds you know guys beef protein is banned in india if somebody is selling you carnivore or any beef product you should never buy it is fake guys it is fake don't even think of for buying it because you know beef protein where you going to get it from beef is banned in india and and and, and how can you get a supplement which is obviously a, a beef based product in india and and selling it legally so obviously it's going to be fake so and and if they're trying to sell you that stuff and telling you it's genuine don't even think about buying it guys don't any beef product is got to be fake so don't even do that and not just you know in protein you know there's so much of uh, duplicacy even in steroids which has come in that you know i know a lot of people you know who try different product and on steroids also come different brands you know there is one brand that i want to name uh, you know and you know uh, in, in india which has kind of caught on and there's so much of duplicacy that's floating around is called uh, um, meritech now now meritech was this company a big steroid company you know which uh, it was supposedly international which was selling genuine stuff but now what we have you know the last year or so you know there are indian generics of meritech you know and trust me you can't figure out a difference between an indian meritech or an or an original meritech there's so much of duplicate similarly in protein guys similarly in every product you can think of and i can tell you for a fact any supplement guy that you go to in india any supplement local retailer carries both products two products one is genuine one is fake so what bodybuilders do is you know and i'm telling you the guys this is you can take it to the bank this is tried and tested what bodybuilders do is if they want to if they're preparing for a competition obviously they're going to try the real stuff and they will tell the retailer that it's for myself you know i want real quality shit so the guy will give them the real stuff but now if the same bodybuilder wants to sell that stuff to someone else to one of his client or whatever he would tell the retailer that hey you know i this is for somebody i know my client uh, you know you can probably out of the five things that i'm going to buy from you four could be fake and one could be genuine so that you know the results that this person would get at least he would get some results and would you know, obviously would not question for his money so that's the level of 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 trust that has gone into it now that you know like uh, everybody is carrying more fake stuff than genuine stuff so my only request to you is that you know whenever you go out and buy stuff for yourself always ask the retailer that you know how genuine it is you know if it's fake or if it's you know if it's bought by somebody question the guy guys question him because remember you know the fake one only comes for about 300 400 500 rupees for a box and you pay 4000 5000 for it and if it's not doing anything for you it's a waste of money and remember guys you know and this is has been my experience that one particular brand of protein that i picked up from one guy you know two to three times tasted different of the same flavor so obviously you know there is so much of duplicacy that you really begin to wonder that who do you really trust so guys there is no way that you can figure out what is genuine what is fake especially if you're a newbie you know and a newbie you know some newbie when somebody who's new to supplements is more prone to get hit by this uh, uh, you know uh, uh, fake stuff because obviously a retailer would immediately guess then that you know that this guy is new into it you know i can sell him anything so if you're new if you haven't bought any supplements or if you've only bought few supplements from one guy always take somebody you know who is into this industry so that he can get you the real deal guys that's the best thing i can tell you i hope this information helps you and comes in handy to you because i've been a victim of it for many years and i really don't want you to waste your hard earned money or something which is fake which will not get you the desired result and we all know that protein will not give you results but when you take real protein you know uh, you actually feel it you know and and you know that's the difference between real protein and fake protein you know you know the moment you take real stuff it immediately shows after one drink you exactly know that the stuff is for good and real so i hope this information comes in handy to you any one of you who have any questions around this feel free to reach out to me on my instagram whatsapp or no in on my instagram facebook or on my uh, youtube and i'll be very happy to assist you with helping you find the right retailer as well so until we meet again peace